We are going to do a Technofiber T Fight 315 uh, book cap up. Oh, I'll say Technofiber. We can see all this. Say Technofiber, it'll say T Fight 315. And well, if it's ever missing a butt cap, you know how to mount the racket. We're doing this racket with 16 gauge Linko Torbite at 52 pounds. Tin ball fuzz in there. We're going to start in the throat. And I know I don't talk about in these rack in these videos, because again I assume you have a basic knowledge of how to string. It has six grommets in the throat, so you start in the throat. If I had four, you'd start in the hit. And we're starting the throat. In case anybody's wondering, this is like early morning, so. We're going to do three, next two, we're just going to thread them to get them out of the way. This will be number six. We will skip grommet number seven in the throat and in the head. Get that one out of the way. Again, skip the seventh grommet. I know you probably can't see it. Seventh grommet in the throat and the seventh grommet in the head. You're also going to skip the ninth grommet in the head and in the throat. going to tie our main string off on and that's what's great about technofiber you always kind of know where you're going to tie off at because they give you these nice big fat tie off grommets uh, we're going to tie off on one two three four five six seven eighth grommet or the second main string from the end
Again, tie off on the eighth, or sorry, the yeah, the eighth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth grommet, or the second main string. Steering with the racket handle away from you. Hang on, hang on. We got my camera at a funky angle. Anyway, racket handle away from you. We're going to start in the ninth grommet, which is the second skipped string. And we are going to start under the second main string. On the opposite side, we will finish over the second main string. And we are going to thread, wait, I gotta think about what I'm doing here. Then we're going to thread the top skipped grommet, which would be grommet number seven. And we will start over the third main string. String. and pull tension on the second cross string. Fifth cross. And go back and pull tension on the first cross. We're going to tie off again. They give you that nice big fat grommet, which would be grommet number one, two, three, four, five. The fifth grommet or the fourth main string we're going to tie our knot. So if you're going to do a starting knot instead of a starting clamp, this is where you would tie your starting knot. And I'm not sure if you can tell. 
hell, but every cross string I do until I get to my skip, every cross string I do, I'm going to start under. I'm going to weave across. And it will finish over. Again, it will start under. We it across. No finish over. Doing it this way. If you ever get to the other side and your string is under, you know you've got a misleave somewhere. Now, you can still finish over and have a misleave if you misleave like two of them. Almost to our skip at the bottom. Remember, my videos are just for reference. I'm not saying this is absolutely the way you ever got to do anything. You can do it with one piece, you can two pieces, you can use 50 pieces. I don't care what you use. I just show the way I do these rackets. I don't try to be artsy or anything. I just try to get the old string out and the new string in. We're on our last one before the skip, so we still start under. And we finish over. All right, we're to our first skipped grommet. We are going to start over the second main string. And you'll start under or finish under second main string on the opposite side. cross we'll start under the third main string and not sure if I showed it or I know I hadn't talked about it but I, I don't even know if you can see it but I will show you. Side of the frame since this string 
came under the outside main or the, the blocked hole I made sure this one also went under that block that way it looks a little better you don't get a crossover do not put your clamp right there give yourself a little bit of room so you can put your knot there We're going to tie off on one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth grommet, which is the third main string. But again, technofiber for the most part. I've had a couple that don't have the nice big fat grommet, but for the most part, they have that nice grommet. That shows you where to tie off at. T-flight out, we'll have to look up the year model on this one because I don't know it, but the T-flight, the Technofiber T-Fight 315.